Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Alice's Kitchen. So in today's video, I'll be making these bomb ass lemon pepper wings. I love you guys so much for stopping by. Guys, remember to give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Also subscribe and yeah, let's jump right into the video. So guys, first I'll be putting a rag under my cutting board just so that the board doesn't slip. So I have about two pounds of chicken wings here. So guys, my wings weren't pre-cut, so I'm just gonna have to cut them myself. But first I'm gonna have to cut off these flappers and I'm gonna go in the joint and separate the two. And I will be using both the flats and the drum. The drums are my favorite. Yeah, so yes, I will be using them. And guys, the flappers, you can either toss it if you want or you can use it for a stock. The choice is yours. So guys, before I even forget, I just want to wish you all a happy new year. And may this year be a joyful ride for you guys and your family. I'm just here wishing you guys the best year ahead. Now guys, to clean my chicken, I'll be using lemon. You guys can either use lemon, lime, lime juice, lemon juice, or vinegar. So now that my chicken is all clean, I'm just squeezing the excess water from that chicken and now it's time to season it. So the first season I'm using is a Maggie all-purpose season and this season is one of my favorite season because it just has so much herb in it. it. It's just so flavorful. It's really flavorful. I'm also using black pepper, paprika, Cajun season, garlic powder, and the star of the show, lemon pepper. 
and you just want to toss that just making sure that every single piece is well coated now it's time to season my flower and i'm practically using all the season that i use to season my wings which include the lemon pepper the mighty all-purpose season garlic powder and paprika now you want to turn your stove top on and you want to add canola oil to your pot and just let that heat Okay, now to coat my wings, I have my egg and milk mixture and I'm just coating my wings and then I'm going to add it to the flour and ensure to dust off the excess flour because you don't want any extra bread in. Now I'm adding my chicken wings to this oil and make sure that your oil is at the correct temperature. Make sure that it's not too hot or too cold because if the oil is just warm, it's just going to soak up all that oil. And if it's too hot, it's just going to burn your chicken and then you're going to have to toss it, which doesn't make sense. Just make sure that it's at the perfect temperature. Now while the wings are frying, I'm just going to coat the second batch of that chicken. And to fry your chicken, you're just going to fry it for about 5 to 7 minutes. Because I'm going to finish it off in the oven. And guys, remember to keep track of your chicken because the cooking time, it does vary sometimes, depends on the size of your wings. Once it starts to get golden, just remove it. And guys, if you have a wire rack at home, you can add your chicken wings to that. Or if not, you can either use a cookie sheet and add some parchment and just put it in the oven and just let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. I need to also keep an eye on it because you don't want your chicken to dry out guys in the oven. Just make sure that it's beautifully golden brown. And guys, with your second batch, just follow the first process and you're good, okay? And guys, you realize that the oil is a bit foamy. That is because when food is dropped into hot oil, the moisture in the food rises to the surface to evaporate. That is why.
okay so now guys i wanted to give my wings some color you know and also some flavor so i decided to saute some vegetables onion green pepper and red red pepper a little bit of garlic and also some hot pepper chili pepper And you just want to saute that for about a minute because these are just vegetables. You just want to saute it until it's fragrant. Now guys, I'm going to add my chicken to that veggies and I'm just going to toss it in the vegetables. Just coat it and I'm going to finish it off with some lemon slices. Guys, I also went ahead and I add some additional lemon pepper. So guys now that we've come to the end of another amazing video i love you guys so much for stopping by guys don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you like it comment share subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye